Hello, this is Tola from Trifold Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can export your textures uh, from Blender into Substance Painter and also actually work on the textures in Substance Painter, like adding, I don't know, like tribal uh, markings or tattoos, whatever you want to add to uh, your textures. It can be skin texture or clothing texture any texture that you would want to uh, edit in Substance Painter and then export it back into Blender. Now I'm using the add-on uh, Manual Bastoni Labs to uh, do this uh, tutorial. So um, I've already showed how to download it into uh, a Blender. Uh, but, <clears throat> excuse me, what we're going to do, what I've done already is that I've already um, finalized the character and I've exported the uh, character into um, uh, a file as an OBJ and also the textures too and to export it out as an OBJ because with Substance Painter what it uses is OBJ files and FBX files with myself I found out using OBJ files is a lot better for me for Blender and, uh, and the way you can do that is click on file and go to export and then go to Wavefront Object and you click on that and then you just save it to uh, any file you you want. I've already done that so I won't do it again so let me press cancel. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up Substance Painter and for uh, those, that, those of you that don't know Substance Painter is not open source, it's not free, you have to actually purchase it or find uh, an older copy of it and this technique uh, of transporting textures into Substance Painter and working on them and exporting them back into Blender it works with any version of Substance Painter and uh, Substance Painter is a great uh, program and as a freelance um, freelance artist or freelance uh, graphics designer or uh, modeler uh, you should get channel on this program because it saves a lot of time um, so I'm going to click on Substance Painter hopefully it won't take too long to load up Oh, there we go. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to import that model into Substance Painter and also the textures at the same time. So in order to wait, you can do that is click on File and go to New, and then click Select, and you're going to go to where you saved your OBJ object or your your OBJ um, uh, file or folder or um, model. I mean, and let me see if I can remember why I saved mine. Unless those are the textures. Um, let me see. I think it's under Blender OBJ exports. Let me scroll back here. I had all this uh, pretty much set up before. But I had to redo the uh, redo the tutorial because it kind of uh, got jumbled up a little bit. Uh, but yeah, this should be where I've saved mine. Uh, let me scroll down. And there it is. Man text OBJ. Click on open. And then to add the textures into uh, Substance Painter, click on Add in the same window. And you're going to go to wherever you saved yours. I've saved mine already, so I'm just going to click on that. Then I'm going to copy and paste this, uh, this web address to make it faster for myself. Paste and go to that. And Man Text Blend Suits, click on that. And then hold down your left mouse button and then drag over your texture and your displacement map. Click on open and it's got them logged in uh, in this window and click on OK. It'll, it shouldn't take too much time for it to load up. But there's our model. Let me scroll up on the scroll, mouse scroll to zoom in a little bit. Let's scroll out. I was trying to actually get a guy instead of a woman figure uh, just for the sake of censorship here. Or um, just uh, well, you know what I mean, just to cover up the upper body part. But since we've already got the woman here, let's just work with her. And now, what you're going to do? You, you're saying, well, I've imported the object or the model. I've imported the textures, but I've I've seen the the model, but where are my textures? And your textures are under this texture tab. Let's make this bigger, make this large, and click on textures. And here they are. That's your um, 
skin texture, your diffuse texture, and this your displace displacement map. And then you're thinking, well, how can I get it onto my model? And the way you can do that is just in, in Substance Painter, the way it imports textures or models into um, into the program, it, it categorizes it according to the textures. So in your on the left side of your uh, program here, you'll see all your textures lined up. And we need to go to the human skin texture and click on that, which is this, which so we can be on the on the right uh, part of the model. And over here, what you're going to do is click on uh, add a fill layer. And once you've done that, make sure a color is activated also along this line. You can tell it's activated because it's in the darker uh, black box with a gray uh, border around it. And what you're going to do is just going to hold down, click on your left mouse button, hold down, and drag over. And then once your uh, you see a little plus sign over your your uh, arrow there. You let go, and then voila, you've got your texture applied to your model. And it's this is really cool because now you can paint on your model and export it back into Blender, and the results will show up in Blender. In order to paint on it, add another fill layer. Click on this uh, plus, not not a fill layer, just a regular layer. Click on the plus sign, and then we're going to let's just click on a, uh, a material br brush. Let's click on this red one, just to have it stand out a little bit more. And uh, what we're going to do is just paint over her eyes. Okay, and this is just for the sake of this tutorial. I mean, it's not something that we're going to actually like uh, send out to <laughs> send out as a completed model it's just for the sake of the of the uh, tutorial okay we've got that applied to her eyes it's like maybe a travel marking and then we're going to export it out so we can import it back into blender and what we're going to do is click on file and we're going to go down to export all channels let's click on that and in this box, you can choose the channels you want to export. And right now, uh, let me see. We can just export all of them. And you can actually click on this drop-down menu to export the kind of channels you'd want. Or export it in a format that's going to suit. Whether you're going to Unity 4 or Unity 5 or Unreal Engine. You know, these are all... Um, Presets you can have exported into the games and things like that for the texture part to make it easier for yourself in terms of transferring these textures. But we're just going to leave it as it is. And then for the destination, I'm going to click on the click on this box here, so you can tell uh, Substance Painter where to export the textures to. And I'm going to export them to. I've got a file or a folder I've already set up for this. And let me see where it's going to be. I, uh, uh, Substance Painter Projects. Let me just export it into that and make a new folder and call it. Man, you can call your call it whatever you want. I'm just going to name it Man Text again. Click on that. Double click to open up the folder and or select the folder and it'll select that folder for you. And we're just going to press uh, export. And it'll export all those channels out. And once again, like I mentioned before, you can you can choose what, what folders or what textures or maps you want to export. Whether it be normal maps or it's, um, I guess, uh, bump maps or displacement maps. It gives you the choice in Substance Painter what you want to export. So let's minimize that window. And I'm going to go back to Blender. Open that up. And let's go to, let's click on our model here. And then go to, click on that window. And go to material. And it'll show us the material that we have um, for this model. Now this is the old material, the old textures that we have. And I'm going to split this window up. I'm going to uh, press five, give me the uh, just a front user view. Press one to center her up. I'm going to pull this down, and I'm going to go to the node editor. Click on that. And this, 
let's make sure we're on the right texture here let's click on that and we're going to pull this open okay those are the eyes so let's go to the make human or the human skin which is this right here and we're going to pull this down and this is the nose setup that makes up the skin so in order for you to see the results of what you've done in substance painter in blender export those textures what you're going to do I'm scrolling up with my mouse wheel so we can see we want to add this uh, new texture you're going to go to the human skin diffuse okay you're going to uh, click on that to cancel that it may take a little time because it's it's uh, in texture mode here and click on open to import those files and we're going to go to where we saved those uh, where we saved those files for all those textures I mean I got to make sure I remember where I saved them okay uh, is this no that's not it either so let me go to the D my D drive I should have remembered where exactly where I saved it, but it's uh it shouldn't be too hard to find. Substance Painter exports. Let's go to that. Uh, Substance Painter projects. Let's see. Substance Painter projects. Oh, there it is. Mantex. Oh, that's a lot. Because it exported a lot of a lot of the uh <laughs> it exported every single texture format. So now we're going to just let it load up and try to look for, I think this is it, or we're going to just let it load up and see if we could uh, find the, the fuse for the skin. That's going to take some time to load up. So let me just look through, through it in this form. Let's look for human skin. Here it is. Human skin base color. Open image. And this should be the texture that we just, uh, oh, there it is. That's it. So it imported the textures we just uh, worked on in Substance Painter. And the uh, painting that we had done to the eyes have been applied through the new texture. So that's pretty much how you're going to export your textures from Blender into Substance Painter, work on them, and import them back into blender but just uh, to conclude or to uh, yeah, to conclude when you're working in blender you want to work on the uh, textures for your character it doesn't have to be man uh, manual best doing labs that's, that's the key thing when it comes to substance painter make sure that your model is UV unwrapped because that's the only way that substance painter is going to be able to read it and import it into substance painter so with manual best doing labs it's automatically UV unwrapped. So once you've done that, export it as an OBJ OBG object, which is file, export, uh, then OBJ wavefront object, export that, save it into whatever full folder on your hard drive you want to save it into. Once you've done that, you're going to go to Substance Painter, open that back up, and you're going to go to File, the new. Uh, yeah, discard that. And you're going to go to this window and press select. And then find out where you saved your OBG object in the file and import that. And then to import the textures, you go to add. Look for those textures. You can click, hold shift, or click them at one at a time and import those. And once those have been imported, make sure then the left part of, the, of your uh, workstation, you're on the, the skin texture. Or whatever part you're working on if you're on the eye texture click on that skin texture click on that but make sure that whatever texture you're working on is indicated in this window here and then once you've done that go back to your the left or the right part of your window and add a fill layer by clicking on I think this is this icon add a fill layer is it the fill layer so that's the that's the uh, material oh yeah fill layer add a fill layer to it and then once you've added a fill layer to it, make sure the color is active. Hold down uh, your shift or hold down your left mouse button on the texture and drag it over. Make sure that this turn your the plus sign appears at the bottom of your arrow. 
release it, the texture has been applied, uh, and to make adjustments to or colors or changes to your uh, texture when add things to it, make sure you add a, a layer to it, and then you choose your paintbrush. It's taking a little bit of time because I've got a lot of programs open, but choose your paintbrush and then paint over it as you desire. You've done got done painting. Go back to file, then uh, export all channels. And once again, you can choose the channels you want to export: normal maps, bump maps, displacement maps, diffuse maps. And you can click up here to choose where you, the destination of those of those uh, textures should be. Once you've done that, you've chosen the destination. You've chosen your chosen your um, textures. Click on export. It'll export it. Once you've exported all your textures, go back to your Blender file, click on that, um, and once again, you go to your node editor, make sure that you're on whatever part you're working on, whether it be the, the fur, uh, human eyes, whatever, however you've uh, divided up your textures, make sure those that particular texture is active, click on it, go up to the, the uh, node editor, and go to the window where you've uh, imported your texture. Uh, Click on uh, delete that and import uh, your texture. Click open and import your texture wherever you saved it back in the Blender. And that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, hope this helped out. Uh, took me a bit of time to research this, but you know, thank God I was able to find out uh, this technique. Uh, but once again, that's how you uh, export uh, your. Uh, textures out of blender and the substance painter work on it and import it back into something to blender again hope it helps someone and um and i guess see you guys on the next one all right have a great day all right bye